Thursday, December 14, Faith on Earth? In Luke chapter 18, verse 8, Jesus asked this question at the end of one of his parables. When the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? As Christ's disciples today, we need to see what Jesus is looking for. In this story, we can see that Jesus is looking for faith that shines even amid darkness. Read Matthew 8, 10 and 13, Matthew 9, 2, Matthew 20, verses 29 to 34, Mark 2, verse 5, Mark 10, verse 46 to 52, and Luke 18, verses 35 to 43. In these passages, whom does Jesus describe as having faith? Firstly, Matthew 8, beginning at verse 10, When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to those who followed, Assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. And I say to you that many will come from east and west and sit down with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the sons of the kingdom will be cast out into outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way, and as you have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed that same hour. And Matthew 9, verse 2, Then behold, they brought to him a paralytic lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, be of good cheer, your sins are forgiven you. And Mark chapter 2 and verse 5, when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven you. Matthew 20 verses 29 to 34. Now, as they went out of Jericho, a great multitude followed him. And behold, two blind men sitting by the road, when they heard that Jesus was passing by, cried out, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, son of David. Then the multitude warned them that they should be quiet. But they cried out all the more, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, son of David. So Jesus stood still and called them and said, What do you want me to do for you? They said to him, Lord, that our eyes may be opened. So Jesus had compassion and touched their eyes, and immediately their eyes received sight, and they followed him. And Mark 10, verse 46 to 52, Now they came to Jericho. As he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great multitude, Blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the road begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Then many warned him to be quiet, but he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. Then they called the blind man, saying to him, Be of good cheer, rise, he is calling you. And throwing aside his garment, he rose and came to Jesus. So Jesus answered and said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, Rabboni, that I may receive my sight. Then Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus on the road. And Luke 18, verses 35 to 43. Then it happened, as he was coming near Jericho, that a certain blind man sat by the road begging, and hearing a multitude passing by, he asked what it meant. So they told him that Jesus of Nazareth was passing by, and he cried out, saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Then those who went before warned him that he should be quiet, but he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus stood still and commanded him to be brought to him, and when he had come near, he asked him, saying, saying, What do you want me to do for you? He said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. Then Jesus said to him, Receive your sight. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise to God. 
This list includes people with faith that shone even in dark cities. In Capernaum, Jesus highlights several people with faith. In Matthew 8, verses 10 and 13, we see a converted pagan centurion with great faith. Matthew 8, verse 10, When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to those who followed, Assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. And verse 13, Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way, and as you have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed that same hour. We meet four faith-filled friends who ripped up the roof to bring their paralyzed friend to Jesus in Matthew 9, verse 2, and Mark 2, verse 5. In Matthew we read, Then behold, they brought to him a paralytic lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, be of good cheer, your sins are forgiven you. And Mark records it, When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven you. In Mark 10, we meet the former blind man Bartimaeus, whose faith shines bright in Jericho. At the same time, we would expect that among God's people, there would be great faith. Yet, even in Jesus' hometown of Nazareth, little faith, or even outright unbelief, was the limiting factor to Christ's ministry. Among his disciples, several times Jesus says of Israel, O thou of little faith! faith. Matthew 6 verse 30, now if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? And Matthew 8 26, but he said to them, why are you fearful, O you of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea and there was a great calm. And Matthew 14, verse 31, And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O you of little faith, why did you doubt? And Matthew 16, verse 8, But Jesus, being aware of it, said to them, O you of little faith, why do you reason among yourselves because you have brought no bread? And in Matthew seventeen seventeen, Jesus exclaims, O faithless and perverse generation. One lesson that we can apply today is that faith is found in unexpected places, in the cities among foreigners, pagans and people with different religions. In humility, we must go into the cities as Jesus did, seeking out those who, when presented with truth, will respond with a saving faith in Jesus, and they are indeed out there. And that brings us to challenge. Open your heart in prayer for a greater portion of faith with which to share your love for those near and far. And challenge up. How did you come to know Jesus and the precious three angels' messages? List three spiritual blessings that you have experienced from Jesus in your personal life. Prepare to share these concepts with your Sabbath school class. You have been listening to a reading of the Adult Sabbath School Lessons by Dr. Percy Harold and the inside story by his niece, Sibylla. Apart from being provided free to those who are visually impaired, these audio lessons are available on the official General Conference Sabbath School and Personal Ministry app, on SoundCloud, Apple iTunes, and also on YouTube. Search for Percy Harold Sabbath to find all of these. And remembering all the time that God is always faithful. Thank you.